Seattle police arrested 10 people last night near the area formerly known as the CHOP. But despite some turmoil overnight, neighbors tell Cairo 7's DD Sun they are feeling relieved. Residents, businesses, and customers can move freely in and out of the police perimeter. And behind me here is the East Precinct. We've been seeing officers coming in and out of there all day as well. When you come into this area, an officer might ask you why you need to be here, but there's no ID checks or anything like that, contrary to what you might have seen online. And the difference inside this neighborhood is dramatic. And it's honestly like a huge weight lifted off our shoulders. It almost looks like a different neighborhood inside the police perimeter of what was formerly CHOP. We saw businesses removing coverings from their windows. Much of the graffiti on the streets is gone. Residents were walking around this morning saying they feel safe again to do so. Better now, yes. It's, it's been quieter. I've slept. Plywood around the East Precinct replaced with sheets that have no graffiti. New barricades have been moved in to protect the building and a fence has been installed. We saw officers coming in and out. The restaurants and stores in the neighborhood, like Northwest Liquor, are open. To cross the police barrier, you just need to let an officer know why. And this resident says he doesn't mind. They're just simply asking where you're going because they're just protecting the precinct. Some of the conflict has continued. Another 10 arrests overnight between here and the West Precinct. And some are worried about further conflict. People that are very upset that their shop zone was dismantled. Others are just trying to show their support for Seattle police. And I know their job is not easy. And in Seattle, it's... It's extremely not easy. This family getting donuts for officers. I just want them to know that they're not alone. Businesses in this area are open. I heard from multiple shops that said people have been trolling them on social media, claiming that businesses inside this area are closed, but that is not true. The shops are open and they're welcoming customers. In Capitol Hill, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News.